Hey guys, it's your boy, Mr. Little Brick. I mean, it's your boy, Skinny Penis, here. Uh, we're doing a Payday 2 video. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a stealth build. This is an all-around great stealth build. It will do you stuff like Bank Heist, Golden Grin, stuff like that. This is a stealth build I use that helps me get through. It helps me get my one down skull. As basically every heist that I could stealth, I did stealth because one down is hard. Really fucking hard. So I'm going to be going across the build today. It will require the Clover Character Pack DLC and the Gauge Mod Courier Pack. You need the Mod Courier Pack for a few uh, attachments such as Laser Sights. And you also need the Clover Pack DLC or the Clover Character Pack DLC for the Burglar Perk Deck. Which is undeniably the best stealth perk deck in the game. It's a must have for anyone who wants to do stealth. So without further ado, we will uh, get into the build. Um, now the build is mostly intact it's really good now i got a few skills where i throw them away uh before the video starts i want to clarify that i am infamy 25 so i do have the skill point reductions i'll leave a link to a non-infamy version in the description below so if you want to use this build of if you're like non-infamy or if you're not up to infamy 5 yet so don't worry about that guys um i'll just mine's gonna be infamy 5 so you know So, first of all, I'm going to go over the, the actual uh, weapons itself. I use a Car 4 because this is generally a, a really nice all-around assault rifle. Good for concealment. Good for loud. It's a very bad weapon unmodded. Personally, I don't like it when it's not modded. But I've managed to mod mine for stealth, as you can see here. So, we're going to go over the attachments right now. Uh, for the barrel, I went for the stealth barrel. Adds plus 1 to your concealment. Plus 4 stability. Minus 4 to accuracy minus two to damage and no threat for barrel we uh, extension we don't have any because the stealth barrel basically takes up the whole barrel we should have the concealment boost on there to get our concealment up no customs if you want to go single fire you can if you want to go auto fire you can but i prefer not to use the customs uh for the four group we've got we've got the com competition i think it is competition four group uh yeah, it's plus two to concealment Minus 12 to stability, plus 8 to accuracy, 1 plus to damage. This is one of the attachments you get from Mod Courier Pack. Gadget, we just have a compact laser, which is from Mod Courier Pack. Um, optional, you can put a 45 degree sight on there, but that does require gauge spec ops. But it's much better for this from the gauge Courier Pack, as this DLC adds more attachments and a lot better. For grip, I went with the Ego Grip, or Ergo Grip. Um, the Ergo Grips to add some stability. If you have the AK Car, or if you have Gauge Weapon Pack 1, sorry, you can get the plus 2 straight grip mod, but it's only for really for 1 DLC. You can get that. It's optional, but 30 is still a good concealment. Uh, don't have a lower receiver, because that's different DLC, but you can shove that on there. Vintage Mag for plus 1 concealment, but it does take minus 8 from our total magazine. No sight. And we have the folding stock for plus three concealment. This is all around just an, a decent weapon. Typically, you won't be, I won't be, and you probably won't be using this weapon much in stealth. It's just there for if you need to or want to. Now it's over to the secondary. We're using the judge. We're using the judge. Uh, probably one of the best. This does such high damage. It is an amazing secondary for both loud and stealth. You see it in dodge builds. You see it maybe in armor builds. And really commonly in stealth builds. And we went with box shot just for the 15 plus free ammo. This does require a gauge shotgun pack. But you can get box shots that are in stock. But you get unlimited if you have the shotgun pack. Barrel extension. We went with the silent killer suppressor. We get plus one concealment because of this. Because any silence that has a negative two concealment modifier. That uh, concealment negative is... Um, what's the word? It's negated and you get plus one instead. Concealment boost, a compact laser module, and no sight. Really nice um, secondary. Does a lot of high damage, and it's not. It doesn't require much accuracy. It's very inaccurate. So, if you hit someone in the head, you get a ton of damage because shotgun pellets have. And shotguns are pretty fucking insane in Payday Two. Uh, we're running two piece suit. We got. I got ECM jammer as primary, and a body bag as secondary. You can switch these around if you need to. And you can get a body bag and an ammo bag if you need to, because this build also has saw skills. Throwable, I went throwing knife. 
perk deck, I went uh, Burglar because you get dodge, you get, like, it's harder to detect, you, you, uh, you unlock doors faster, you answer pages, pages faster, and you, um, there's a skill in here where you're a lot harder to detect if you're crouched and not moving. Yeah, it's one of the skills, where is it? Yeah, there's 5% here, there's also another 5% somewhere, so yeah, 10% less chance. I'm pretty sure it's 15. Oh, it's 20% uh, apparently. Because, yeah, it's 20%. Alright, the skills. I went for Forced Friendship just for extra cable ties and basic confidence to increase my range and power of intimidation so I can get people down faster. In Forced Respect, basic underdog so I can get the slightly faster reload speed for the judge. Transporter basic, and I got resilient. I got resilience basic just so I can get transporter. Basic scavenger and aced portable saw for the saws. Really good on bank heists. Now in technician, I've got basic third law and basic eco sentry. Spent the minimal amount of points on this tree so I could get jack of all trades to be able to get a second deployable. I've aced it so I can now have two deployables. Basic really just makes you interact with, the, with all deployables faster. But if you ace it, you can hold two deployables. But... Your second deployable, the amount it has, is halved. Such as with first aid kits, if you you go from 14 down to 7. In Ghost, where I've spent most of my points, I've aced everything on the Shinobi... Sh sh fucking Shinobi tree. Got Chameleon aced for... Um, you can pick up items while in caging mode. You also get more valued items, marking... Uh, six cents, all this stuff. Nimble... This one's important, unlocking saves, that drills, and you can disable one camera. Really, the lockpicking of the safe is the reason why I did this. Cleaner for body bags. ECMs for, like, unlocking doors and duration. Specialist for duration as well. Because a lot of times when I'm playing a highest... Let's see, you know, what's an example? Uh, Shadow Raid. If we have like one artifact left and we're trying to get it out and someone gets detected, you can keep shoving out ECM jammers that last 30 seconds each, trying to get someone out of there before the alarm goes off. Really useful. In basic skills, in our Artful Dodger, we have basic duck and cover and basic parkour. Basically a requirement for every build. Everyone should have basic of these two on all their builds. And we've got inner pockets for concealment on melee weapons to lower our concealment even more. In, so we got basic second wind just so we could get the optical illusions aced so you're less likely to be targeted and here's the game plus one concealment when you're equipped with a silencer of negative two penalty so this is where this is how i got 31 concealment on my judge aced professional for the stability and a uh, accuracy and then i also got specialized killing for the damage this really isn't needed, the professional, but I put it on here just because sometimes I like to run different... I like to run, like, a deagle or a baby deag. And I've got nothing in Fugitive. So this build generally has a lot in it. Um, if you can, uh, if you want to, usually you'll switch your primary weapon out for a saw. Usually because your secondary is much more effective at stealth, so the saw... Always a nice thing to run sometimes. If we do get a 14 concealment, that's why I have my modified Ben 89mm. I've modded it for the lowest possible concealment, and you get a plus 3 concealment modifier on it. So I get a concealment of 10. This is generally the two items I use when doing my saw build. So I get 10 concealment. I only ever use the saw build on like something like the Bank Heist or Golden Grin and stuff like that. So as always, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, leave a like if you found this uh, build to be helpful, uh, leave any criticisms or comments on this build you think I should change or you think I should add. Uh, I don't do much stealth, so this is probably the best. Like for, I've played quite a lot of hours of stealth, about 30. Out of my 300 hours, I think it is now, I've only played about 30, 40 hours of stealth. All around, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like if you did, comment, criticism, what I should change, what I should add, and subscribe if you want. Uh, more videos from me if you want to see more Payday 2 videos leave a like favorite it share it with your friends if you know any friends who are getting into stealth show them this video I'll have the link to a non-infamy version in the description below and I'll see you all next time with the next video see you guys